of the time. Okay, right. Um, for myself, uh, about the uh, year 2020, okay, I was diagnosed with UTI. Okay, and that time I was I was very difficult to control uh, my toilet. Okay, I have to go many times, you know, that and finding what, what's wrong with me. I went to the GP and they checked. And he, he said it's very unusual for a man to get UTI. Usually it's a female who gets it, right? So he said, never mind, I will give you some antibiotics and if you if it comes back again then we have a problem. Okay. So when I went back and I took the antibiotics, everything got cleared and I was okay again. But somehow, uh, about three months later, I got the UTI came back again. Okay, so that is when the uh, doctor actually sent me to the hospital. Okay, when he sent me to the hospital, the doctor had made many tests. Okay, one of the tests is a rectal examination. And you know what they do? They do with a the hand. <laughs> they go and check on my stick it behind me and then they also do the ultrasound right like you ladies when you get you want to check whether you're pregnant you do some ultrasound also right okay and then he did the CD scan he scanned my whole body up okay and then he did the PSA test that's where uh, they take the blood from you and check it out so with with all these that he checked he later on tell me that I have cancer cancer of the prostate and I was I was shocked because why I'm I'm all all the time in the in the health uh, MLM right and here I am getting the, the thing so I asked the doctor so what are you gonna do about it okay and he told me that he will give me radiotherapy or maybe chemo he said he's not sure yet so he what he wants to do now he wants to do a biopsy right and also he would also want to perform an MRI. So with the biopsy, he said, I can, I can tell you uh, what stage cancer are you in, right? And with the MRI, I can, I can tell you exactly where is the cancer. Then I think about it. I'm always in MLA. I'm always telling people, don't go for chemo, okay? And then now I'm the one who is get, getting uh, the cancer. So I was very worried. I didn't know what to do. And I tell the doctor, I said, no. Uh, let me go home and I think about it. So when I went back to my family, I started discussing with my wife, my, my son, but they also at loss. They, got, they, are, they are too shocked to be able to tell me what, what to do, right? And so because of that, I also discussed with my good friends, with James and Janet, okay? And then we were thinking what to do next. So I realized that maybe how I got this prostate cancer is because of the food I like to eat. Okay, I, I always like to eat meat and all that, but uh, I don't like to eat vegetables. So I tell myself, maybe we should change my diet. Okay, so what I did is I changed to raw vegetables. Okay, I stopped all my meat and I stopped drinking coffee. I, I, I start to uh, juice, do juicing for my uh, raw vegetables. So this is my, my, my uh, sort of my diet. Okay, I also start taking a lot of supplements, whether it's... Uh, um, uh, very good for uh, what do you call that for my body, right? A lot of vitamins, vitamin C and all that. I I I, I took so much that I think I spent about about two thousand dollars a month, sing dollars. Okay. So with that, after three months, the the doctor actually before that when I when I told him I'm not going to do the the biopsy, he said okay I, I give you another appointment three months later. But if you decide to come back within the three months, come back early. Okay, okay, but I didn't come back. So I took these three months to change my diet. So when I changed my diet, I came back and I, uh, the cancer marker came down a bit. So I was very happy, right? So I, then he told me, no, you still need to go for the uh, biopsy and to find out further. So I said no. So he was uh, saying, okay, then I give you another three months. Okay, so I, 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 I went on, to, went back to continue doing what I'm doing, very happy that the cancer marker went down. And then... After that, I went back again, okay? So I went back uh, three months later. Uh, earlier, the cancer marker draw, right? Three months later, I went back. The cancer marker went up. Wow. That time, I was like, I was so unhappy, so down. I thought I did everything correct. 
But in the end, it seems that like I'm at loss. So what happens? I went back. I told him, no, no. I, I think I need to. Uh, I, I need to trust in God. I need to leave it to God. If God wants to bring me home, then so be it. So I actually told God, God, give me a sign. Is it? Is it you want to take me home, or or you want to help me in some ways? If if you want to help me and then show me a sign. So when I went back, uh, the doctor got very angry. Actually, okay, the doctor said, okay, you, three months they give you another three months they give you. Okay, now I give you six months. Six months, then you come back if you decide. Okay, so with with this six months, okay, I went back. I discussed with uh, uh, Janet and James, and somehow we have a common friend in Hong Kong. Okay, and the common friend said, use life wave. Okay, try test out this uh, stem cell X thirty nine patch. When it when 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 he told that to Janet, Janet went ask me, and I said, I. I I, I have three three times people already asked me to join uh, Lifeway. I rejected, rejected, rejected three countries, right? But this time I say, uh, why not? I, I give a shot, okay? Okay, finally later I realized it's God who gave me this chance again, right? The fourth time. So in the end, I say, okay, we, we, we try it out, okay? So, so when I started trying it out, I continue with my diet, okay? But this time, I add X39 and I put uh, glucotion also, okay, master antioxidant. With these two patch you need, six months later, when I went back to see the doctor, I was declared cancer-free. So it's amazing, okay. So, so can you imagine why I take such a good supplement, so many supplements, but now I just add X39 only, everything was fine. Okay, I realized from a gentleman here, a 29-year-old Jin Dong, he told me, which I find very practical, he said, even though I take such a good diet and such a good supplement, right, the body cannot absorb because your body is not in sync, right? Your, your, your digestion is not good. But with the X39, it start repairing my digestion, my body, everything, and it's now able to absorb all the, the good things that I put in. Okay, and then that's why within these six months, I managed to, to be cancer-free, right? So I, I really owe a lot to LifeWave. I, I thank God for it, and I promise God that if you cure me, okay, I will share with as many people as I can. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I only patched the glucotion and the X39 here, okay, if anybody want to ask me. And uh, the next thing I want to share is, okay, besides just the cancer-free, I also realized that my nails become, uh, grow very fast and very hard, right? So there was one time I, I, I used my old nail cutter and I clipped the nail cutter break. <laughs> okay, so I, I had to buy a new uh, nail cutter. I also noticed that uh, when I look into the lights, right, my floaters all, all disappear. Last time I used to see the floaters flying around in my eye, but now no more floaters already. Okay, and one last thing that I, I realized also, uh, this time when I go to the toilet in the morning, oh, very smooth. I know. Okay, so this is really a, a fantastic thing. Yeah, and then okay. So now my my job, I feel that uh, as I as I promised God is to help as many people as, as I can. Okay, to get as many people. Uh, uh, attack their, their health condition, revive them, restore them. That is my aim. Thank you very much. Thank you.